Thanks for tuning in to Burber Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, special guest in the house, Elijah Craig, C922. Been waiting to get my hands on C922. Actually, C922 Larceny. Didn't think I was going to have a chance to get this until probably January of next year. That's just how my market works out. If you just saw my last video, it was a South Carolina bourbon haul. Picked this up down in South Carolina. They had two bottles on the shelf. Texted my buddies. I said, look, they got two. Who wants one? My buddy Nick must have the fastest fingers in the world because sometimes it seems like he's texting me, yes, I want it before I even hit send. So with that being said, bottom drop, bottom drop, bottom drop. Elijah Craig C922. I'm a big Elijah Craig fan. I'm a big Heaven Hill fan. It is not much that they put out that I really don't like. All of the single barrel, barrel proof Elijah Craig stuff, all of the barrel proof batch stuff, I mean, it's, it's just good stuff. I don't think that I can say that I've had a bad bottle of any high proof Elijah Craig stuff. Most of the stuff just tastes delicious. I mean, and they're the good, I mean, they still maintain a certain flavor profile, but you still get some bottles that have that butterscotch. You still get some bottles that have a little bit of fruitiness in them. So I can't wait to see what this Elijah Craig Barrel Proof has in it. I mean, my, my one of my favorite bottles of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof stuff was B520. That was one of my absolute favorite bottles. And I think a close second was C919. So since I got them on the table, I'm gonna run through them, give you a comparison. I'm gonna go through the C922 first, give you some tasting notes, give you some nose and notes, see what it boils down to. And then I do wanna put it side by side with a single barrel Elijah Craig that I have. It is my absolute favorite. It is the king of the bar right now. It is an eight year store pick from Ladies Liquors. I'm not gonna try and make it too long, so let's get into it. Fresh neck crack, fresh neck pour. Pork pop. Not gonna go and pour too much in the glass because I don't really get the nosing notes that I would like to get if it's too much in the glass. So right now, get a little bit of air in it. I can already smell a doughy note just coming out of the glass in the bottle. It's whew. <laughs> whew. I get a little bit of apples, I get a lot of dough. Little bit of black pepper. There's a there's there's a little bit of citrus just underneath of everything. It might shine through more once I take a sip. Let's see what we get. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> wow, that lit me up. That lit my nose up. That is the first time I've actually got cherries in Elijah Craig. Whoa, even a little bit of water in the eyes. Boy, that is good, man. I mean, you know I'm an Elijah Craig fan anyway. I would tell you if I thought it was bad. I really would. So I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. This is phenomenal. And that's just a neck pour. I do get some clove. I get some cinnamon. And it's almost like a dry, not a cinnamon that's mixed in something. Almost like if, if you've ever tasted raw cinnamon, that's what I'm getting here. I do get some oak. There is citrus. Uh, more of the citrus comes out after the first sip. <sighs> I'm not getting as much maple and brown sugar as I normally get out of Elijah Craig. I get more oak. The oak is the oak is really powerful on this one. I mean, it's 12 years old, so you do have to expect that. Let's go back in.
yeah, more of that dough, dough transfers over to the palate. I wasn't getting a lot of brown sugar in the nose, but I'm getting like a brown sugary flavor on the palate. It's uh, it's it's oily. It's super oily. Um, it's it does have a slight savory note, kind of coming off. Yeah, kind of coming off like a burnt brown sugar. You do get some barrel char. That oak is heavy. The oak, the oak on this Elijah Craig C92 is heavy. Yeah, the oak is overpowering a little bit. Not in a bad way. It's got this very nice citrusy smell. It's not that citrus that's over concentrated that I can't stand. It's just enough to be in there. It's nice, everything flows well. That was the first drink of the day, by the way. That's why it hit the nose so hard. I've gotta go back in to see if I can pull anything else out. The finish is still there. I mean, it, that, that burnt brown sugar, maybe burnt edges of like a marshmallow, it's, it's still going on. Yeah, a little bit more air time. The vanilla comes through. It was a fresh crack, fresh neck pour. I couldn't wait to get it in the glass. I've been wanting to do a review, so look, just look, bear with me. Um, go a little easy on me. Yeah, there's the vanilla. So the vanilla does come through a little more towards the end, and I think it's because I did get a little more air in the glass, let it open up a little bit. Maybe I should have poured a glass maybe an hour before the shoot and, uh, you know, gave it time to air out. But I, like I said, I just wanted to get into it, get a review going, get it to you guys. I mean, I was super excited about getting the C922. <sighs> yeah, vanilla butterscotch. And what made me go back in the glass is because when I said get it to you guys, I put the glass here and it just hit me in the face. This is phenomenal. I've got to put it up against my eight-year store pick from Ladies Liquors and see who comes out on top. Let's get to the breakdown. Is Elijah Craig barrel proof worth the chase? Yes. I chased that, and I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of the Elijah Craig barrel proof. So I'm gonna chase every bottle that they come out with. Normally, I don't see these for any more than about 20 bucks over retail. Every once in a while, you'll find them for about 30 bucks over retail. Elijah, Bre Elijah Craig Barrel Proof normally retails at about $69.99, putting it at 70 bucks. I have walked into some stores and I've seen it as high as 110, which is $40 over retail. I try not to go 30, that's try, but would I go $40 over retail for this? Yes. I really would like to find it for retail, closer to retail, maybe around 85. That's typically what I see it for here in Maryland. I got this bottle in South Carolina for $89.99. Maybe that was steep in that area, I'm not sure. They were the only two that they had. They did have a lot of larceny barrel proof B522s, but you can't really gauge the price on something like that. All right, so that brings me to my next question. Is it worth over retail? I pretty much summed it up when I answered the last question. Is it worth the chase? This is definitely worth over retail. How much over retail? Well, that depends on you. Me, I try not to go 30, you know that. But I paid as much as 40 over retail for this. Um, the highest that I paid for a bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof was the B519 at $110. I would not go 120, I would not go 130, I would not go 140, I would not go 150, you see, so on and so on. I think I would cap it at that 100 to 110 mark. I really wouldn't pay more for it than that. It is a very good product, but as you know, it is a limited release batch product, so the flavors may vary. So you could get one that is just absolutely phenomenal and out of this world in one batch, and then you go back to that same store, give them 110, 120 bucks, and you're totally dissatisfied with the next batch. So I would stay away from paying more than $100 from this bottle. I really would. Would I do 110 again? No, I don't. I, I like to find it closer to retail. So every bottle that I bought after that was definitely closer to retail. Will I always keep a bottle on the bar? Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs are funny because 
they release them three times a year. Once you run out of one batch, it's going to be hard pressed to find that same batch. Every once in a while you'll get lucky and find a batch from years behind, behind some bottles that are dusty on the shelf, but typically that's not going to happen. So specific batches, I can't say that I'm always going to have on the shelf, but a bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof will always be on the shelf. So with that being said, I hope you've had as much fun watching this video as I had fun making it. Till next time.